What's up, YouTube? I am the Fan of Steel. Welcome to my channel. Well, guys, yes, it is here. We got it. If you can't tell, I'm a little bit excited. I am thrilled. Why is it? Because today we found out not only the title for the new Star Wars film, which is The Rise of Skywalker, but we got an absolutely fantastic teaser trailer for it. I cannot express to you guys just how excited I am. I am pumped. I am so stoked for this movie and for this trailer. This trailer was absolutely 100% awesome. So let's talk about it. Now first, let's talk about the title, The Rise of Skywalker. Now I never did tell you guys this, but honestly, my speculation was that maybe the title would have something to do with like the spark of the rebellion or spark of hope or something like that because all of the titles had been alluded to in the previous movies like with the force awakens we saw in the trailer there's been an awakening and they talked about that and then with the last jedi they said you know they were talking about even in the uh, even in The Force Awakens, they had mentioned, you know, The Last Jedi, Luke Skywalker. And they did again in The Last Jedi. They said, you know, he's the last Jedi. And so when I was watching Episode 8 again for, you know, the several several times, multiple re-watchings, I noticed that Poe had said, we are the spark that will light the fire of the Resistance. So I thought, oh... Well, maybe, I mean, that sounds kind of like a, a catchy title, Spark of the Resistance or Spark of Hope or something like that. But we got Rise of the Skywalker, which is an interesting title. I will tell you guys, that is probably the one slight negative that I will give out of today for Star Wars Celebration with this title reveal and with this new trailer release is that Rise of Skywalker, to me, is an okay title. Okay, it's alright. I haven't seen the movie yet, though. So, just as a title, simply going as a title, it's okay. But, really, I am, I am very curious about this title. I'm very excited about this title because... We have been hearing for such a long time, J.J. Abrams and everybody saying that this is the conclusion to the Skywalker saga, so it makes a lot of sense, and it gives some hope in there, because really the Skywalker saga has been, it's been very gray so far. It, there's been some good in there, but there's also been a lot of bad with Anakin's turn and with Vader and then with Luke's depression and everything that he went through in The Last Jedi. So there's been a lot of good, but there's been some bad in there too. So this rising, kind of giving an allusion to redemption almost, it gives me some hope that we're going to see the Skywalker saga going out on a huge positive note, and I can't wait to see that. So the trailer starts showing us... Uh, again, just like The Last Jedi with Rey's breathing and everything. And I think that's kind of, uh, kind of a hint and a calling back to The Last Jedi where that we saw her there. And, you know, after we see how it actually is in the movie where that Luke was training her and helping her to control her senses and to focus. So I think that's, you know, kind of a calling back. She's calling back to what she had learned in the little bit of training that she did get. So something obviously is going on there in that situation. Maybe it is from that actual scene that we see of her in the desert, or maybe it's from something else. We don't know. But her breathing is really heavy and everything, and then she slows it down. She calms herself just like she should, remembering her training and going back to her training of being a Jedi. And then we see, I believe it's the Inquisitor, Kylo's fighter is coming in, and it's got the beautiful sound and everything, and 
She's calm and she's ready. She's facing off against it. He comes in, she runs off, and then we get that awesome scene where that she flips and then it cuts and then we start getting all these quick scenes. I loved seeing Lando. It was so good to see Billy D. Williams reprising his role, coming back as Lando. It felt right seeing him and Chewie pilot the Millennium Falcon again. He again he is piloting the Millennium Falcon for the ending of a trilogy because he did it for Return of the Jedi and it's, it almost seems just fitting and right to have him back. Don't know what they're doing there, but we know it's going to be awesome. We see some scenes with uh, C-3PO and a couple others. Um, we see them being chased by some stormtroopers on some speeder bike looking things. That was really cool. And of course, I love the fact that we saw Rey hugging Leia and we hear Leia's theme throughout the trailer. That was that was a really nice touch. I really like it that they did that and that they used her theme for the trailer and bringing that into it. I, I thought that was awesome. Also, I loved the stuff that we saw with Kylo. Again, we saw him we saw him being a part of the first scene, but we only saw his his hands. We saw him speeding up. So I mean, if, if you're seeing it in the context of that scene, uh, he's not backing down, she's not backing down, and he is not backing down either. We see him fixing his helmet. Now I'm wondering, are, uh, how is his helmet going to look? Because he's repairing those cracks, he's, he's not getting an, an, a new helmet. He is using his old helmet. And we see him fixing that and repairing it, welding it back together. Are those red lines, are they going to stay? Or is that just because it's hot and all we're going to see is just like some faint cracks? As far as the design, I would love to see just like some, some red, almost lightning looking effects in his helmet. I think that would be a really awesome effect to have for that helmet. But we don't know. Either way, it's going to be really cool. I loved I love Kylo's mask. I love the way it looks. It's very menacing, very dark. And I'm I'm glad that he's bringing that back. And he is, you know, we saw him without the mask and everything in Episode 8, which was kind of, you know, showing that, I mean, there was a little bit of conflict there. And he was going through a lot of conflict. And I, it really felt like with them bringing back the mask, like it is symbolizing the decision that he made in episode eight to fully embrace the dark side. So just coming to a full circle before in episode seven, he was just kind of being a pretender a little bit. And there was again, a huge amount of conflict and he was really just trying to emulate Vader. Now it's like he is just being Kylo Ren and just accepting and embracing this is who I am, and I am, you know, Sith, or whatever he is, he's just dark side. Now, I've heard a lot of speculation on the title and Rise of Skywalker, and you guys are probably wondering what my thoughts are on it. Again, I just feel like it's just symbolizing some redemption. And it really makes me think, and there's one other thing that makes me think it, and I know you guys are thinking it, and you're screaming right now, you want to hear me talk about it, and we will, we're going to get to it, I promise, because it was the best part of the trailer, so don't worry, it is coming. But, I am more convinced now, more than ever, that Luke Skywalker is going to play a huge, huge, significant role in this movie. Whether that could even be just them bringing him back and maybe even just resurrecting him and, and him coming back in, in real life or if it's just a force ghost. But we hear his voice over and we hear him talking about every time, everything that he is saying is plural. We. We are with you. So another thing that I've really wanted to see in this movie, I wanted to see Anakin return. I want Anakin back. I want to, if we are ending the Skywalker trilogy, I want to see Anakin Skywalker again. I want to see Hayden Christensen reprise his role. I want to see Anakin Skywalker. 
I believe he deserves to see, uh, to, to be back in this. If this is ending, and especially if we are getting Sheev the man Palpatine himself. Because that trailer ending with Palpatine laughing, we hear his laughter and we know he's coming back. Now, does that mean that Snoke was Palpatine all along? Just reincarnated or, you know, in some shape or form? I don't know. I really don't know. Again, huge speculations, huge amounts of curiosity about this. But, I mean, and then Ian McDermott, I believe is his name, actually being there after after the whole thing is over and the lights come back and he's right there. Wrote it again. And just, oh, it's awesome. And we've seen him reprising his role and actually coming back because we've seen uh, the Emperor playing a large role in, in Star Wars media recently with... Um, I mean, even in Battlefront 2, the Emperor is in there a little bit, and really he's the driving force of everything that's going on in the story mode of Battlefront 2. And then um, Ian McDermott, he, he had reprised his role for uh, Palpatine in the last few se uh, episodes of, oh, what was it, of Rebels. He had come back and he had done the voice for that. So he's, all, he's still been a part of the Star Wars world. He's been there. And Hayden Christensen has actually been coming back and being a part of the, the Star Wars world recently too. So that gives me a little bit of hope. Again, that's just a fan desire of really wanting to see if this Skywalker saga is ending and it really is about the Skywalkers and bringing that to a close and putting a bow on it which the title gives us that, we've been hearing J.J. and all the others saying that that's what it's doing, then I want to see Anakin again. He deserves that. He really does. And I really, really, really want to see that happen. Overall, though, guys, this trailer just gave me so much enthusiasm and curiosity for what we are going to get in this movie. I, I cannot wait, and I really think that a lot of people are going to end up eating their words that they've said and their criticism for Episode 8, because I've said for a long time, you cannot judge Episode 8 so harshly. We, when we look at everything and we see, um, you know, Episodes 1, 2, and 3 as a trilogy, and 4, 5, and 6 as a trilogy... We see them as the trilogy. So when you watch episode two, you watch it with episode three in mind. When you watch episode five, you watch it with episode six in mind. When we're watching episode eight, most of the majority of us were not around whenever that we had to wait to see the conclusion and see what was coming after episode five. So it left us... This is the first time that we've had to wait and speculate and be like, well, I wonder what's going to happen and, and how is this going to end? We're not seeing it with a conclusion in mind. I really think that this movie is going to really help us understand episode eight so much better. And hopefully, I'm really hoping that it gives us a better appreciation for episode eight because I really enjoyed episode eight. And so I'm hoping that with this being the conclusion to the Skywalker saga and, and Luke, I really believe is going to play a bigger role in it, that it is going to help give us more of an understanding and a fleshing out of this story as a trilogy and a better appreciation for episode eight. Now we know that from what they've said, JJ said that this movie does take place a considerable amount of time, episode episode eight. So there's going to be, I really believe there's going to be a good difference in Ray's character and how she has grown and developed, and also Kylo Ren's character as well. So we're going to see some really, really cool stuff in this. But again, guys, the biggest thing was revealing that Palpatine is actually going to be a part of this. That is absolutely insane. 
I cannot wait to see what role he plays in this movie. That is just going to be absolutely nuts. I am so, so thrilled for that. I could not believe it. I got ecstatic when I heard that voice. So I cannot wait to see what they are going to do with Palpatine in this movie, bringing back the Emperor. And who knows, that might actually be the thing that turns Kylo back to the light, is him, this greater evil showing up, and he and Rey have to team up to defeat it. But I don't know, guys. Anyway, I am super, super excited for this trailer and for this movie. I absolutely loved it. But let me know, guys, what did you think about the trailer? What do you think is going to happen in the movie? And what are your thoughts on this whole thing? Let me know in the comments section down below. Until next time, guys, I'm the Fan of Steel. And remember, keep geeking out.